Hello everyone, uh, it's Rita here and I wasn't planning on doing a video today but um, it is Sunday and I was going to uh, pick a name uh, from the suggestions on uh, the com from the comments on the uh, naming the uh, puppy journal. So I hope you can see this. I'm not sure exactly how to, I've never done this before but I don't think it's going to be too too much of a problem. So let's do that first and then I'll do a little little craft thing just since I've got the camera on I gotta download it anyway might as well. Okay so I've already put the URL um, on this one another day of crafting poppy journal and then it says name this journal. So um, let me okay and then I don't have any filters except uh, to include the replies because we have to see them, otherwise we won't know. Okay, and if uh, it doesn't come up with somebody naming it, um, then we'll just have to hit it again, I guess. Okay, so um, hold on. I don't, okay. <sighs> I'm afraid to do it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. The cap. I don't know what that is. You entered is wrong. Please try again to add the correct answer. What? Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, I guess I have to put the answer in this thing. Okay. Okay, the amount of comments was 27. But, okay. Oh my gosh. Let me, I'm looking to see if there's something else I'm not doing right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Number seven is the answer. Okay. Comments are 27. Okay. Start the raffle, pick a random winner by clicking start button. So it must be this button. Oh, gosh. I can't be me, right? It's doing the responses as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> me again. We'll get it here sooner or later. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Karen Young. Okay. Uh, Karen, did you... Um, no, she didn't give it a name. Okay. Let's try it again. Sorry, Karen. Um, I didn't see a thing that says do not add my responses. <sighs> Filter duplicate users. I guess that would help. All right, so let's, can I start it again? Let's try it again. Samantha Kramer? Nope. No guess. Susan Davis. Uh, she thinks of pandas, so she wants to name it Pandas and Poppies. So, um, that's what we'll name it. Pandas and Poppies, and that means I'll have to get some pandas. Uh, 
All right. Thank you very much, Susan, for uh, playing along. I really appreciate it because I didn't really have a name. And, uh, and it gave me a chance to try this uh, random picker thing. But I can't do that on our, our give my giveaways because um, everybody's not um, answering on the same. Uh, not everybody's uh, commenting on the same video. So I have to like take all your names and add them all up and put them into this other thing. So that's it for that. All right. So oh, I forgot to put Susan Davis. All right, Susan. So today I was kind of taking the day off and just um, cleaning my uh, my uh, craft room. And um, I was working on the um, journal, I mean my planner. So um, I'm working uh, on June now. So um, yeah. I haven't done anything, so I'm not going to do that right now. But I will. Sh well, I, I don't know where all the. I'll show you the the color scheme for this month of June. Is um, these uh, like tan and greens? That's really pretty. Um, here's some of the, and I think I've already cut up all the uh, floral. Here's some like uh, embellishments. This is the planner kit. I'm going fast but you can see how it looks it's and then these are the flowers which uh, you could use those all the time um, any botanical so yeah I'm going to um, work on that today too because I don't have if I don't there's a butterfly one um, I won't uh, have anything to write in which is been the problem here okay so what I was thinking too I just pulled these out um, earlier because I was going to make um, a uh, writing board and um, you saw me um, show the writing board that I did before but I didn't show you how I made it so basically what I did was I just took um, uh, uh, cracker boxes or whatever boxes you have that have this the um, hard cover and then it fits into here. Now the one I'm going to do, I want to do one smaller for the um, giveaway journal because it's not as big. And so I have, let's see, this was I think five and a half by something. So I have these two cardboards here. And if you can, I would put them, and they don't have to be cut perfectly at all. So, but if you can, I would put them back to back and then just kind of see what kind of sturdiness you have and if it's not sturdy enough I have these um, cards that I've gotten or people have given me which makes it really nice and, and firm I was thinking you could take a couple of your Christmas car old cards or whatever because um, some of the cards are really uh, heavy duty like um, Hallmark. They're like double. See, that's got that real thick. So, uh, that's something you can do. Or, again, you can take, you know, the cardboard and, and use that. Actually, I think I might have cut this one to fit here. I think I did. So, let me take the card out and I'll save it. And then I'll just put the same cardboards in here. So that was like, you know, one box, ice cream box that was left over. All right, and then we're just going to seal it up here. Yep. Seal it up. I took my mat off, so I hope I'm staying in camera because I couldn't pick up anything because the mat... Um, it, it's hard to pick things up off that mat. This has got a little bit more movement. And so that's kind of ugly there, but we'll cover it. I saw the coolest thing too. Where did I see that? Um, I'm trying to think, how did they do it? 
because they covered their corners. Well, one of them was um, how to cover a book cover, uh, uh, but they they use leather. So they took like a book and made it look old. Let me see if I have. Oh, let me cover it with paper first. Let's see what we have left from the from what I was using to make the journal. All the Edith Holden and stuff. See, that's pretty. Like that. Just nice and simple. Because you can't have anything... Um, I wonder if I should go this direction, though, because it would fit better. So I think I'll do that. It doesn't have to be really complicated. And that, or should I use the parts with the words? Now, I use the tops of the flowers. And we might be able to put like a little label or something on it because that wouldn't be too, too thick. All right, let me cut this. Right, I didn't cut it exact, did I? There's where I want to cut. Just inside of that. A little bit. Everybody's mowing their lawn today. I have heard lawnmowers roaring all day. That's the problem with living out here. Um, is that everybody has a huge lawn. And I'm going to take a little more off of this. And, uh, you know, in the summertime, they're out there mowing. You have to, or it gets out of control. Yep. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut all these little pieces like this. I wasn't even prepared at all. Not that I ever am, but I try. Okay, there's one. Now, I'm just checking to see if that's any kind of lumpy, but I think it's fine. It's, this is all. I could make this the front, though, I guess. Yeah, let's make that the front, and we'll know for sure that it's not going to have any little lumps later on. A little ink on this. So to me, this is a very simple task for making a writing um, board. Um, let's see, I'm going to find my glue book. I need glue, glue book. I didn't really need to do the center of that so much, but I did. Okay, let's... So I'm going to start saving my envelopes, too, that the card comes in, because I can cover all the writing and postage and all the stuff that, you know, you don't want showing. I should do some labels that says, um, or stickers that says, um, writing board or something. So 
so they know what this is all about. Or otherwise, they're going to try to open it. All right, so let's see on the back. I don't know if this. Could, well, oh, that is cool. It says summer right there. That's what this journal is, summer. I feel like I've got um, too much light or something, but if I turn off one of them, it, then it, it's just too dark. So I don't, I don't know what's why it's doing that. I don't even remember changing a light bulb. You know, sometimes you put something a little brighter in than you had before. The light bulb. All right, so. Think I'm going to try to make some corners. Um, I'm trying to think how would I do it. So like if I put like a square, no, it's got to be this going like that. I think. it would just be I don't have enough of this a, a full square so let's say two by two start with that okay is that two by two what two by two is it all right so if it was going to go like this, I'm think I'm going to put this page on um, after we cover this. Is what I'm thinking. No, that's okay. We can do that, but it's too. We don't want to cover it that much. I wish I, it's, it would be the same as doing, um, I don't want it to go that way. It's got to go on this angle. So probably, let's see if I bend it like that and there and this would come over here so what do we cut away because I, I think we need to cut away would we cut away this triangle in here totally square. Let's see. How about if we we could do it like that. So maybe we need triangles. What do you think? I think that's what we need is triangles. Uh, triangles not squares see because then we can just fold it over but that a little too small so try let's do three by three what 
Why this thing's loud when it goes through fast? Okay. Oops. I'm going to cut a triangle too. I'll have to get, I, it's in a book that I have that shows how to do that. I just ran across it. And um, I was, what happens is I start looking at stuff and then I start reading all of it and looking at all the pictures and stuff. All right, so let's say we fold this like that. So we would cut, okay, I think we would cut this out, this part, just like we do. I'm not going to uh, cut too close to the corner because I want that to, to stay. So let me glue. I only have to do this because of the corner here that is ripped. But it also would um, add... Um, down so it's nice and closed up. I should have um, inked it. Yeah, that looks okay. Alright, so we did a 3x3, three three, so let's do another 3x3. Three three. It doesn't have to be design. You guys almost let me cut this and I want to put this on the this one in this corner. Yeah, I'll just put it in this corner and then we'll put the wording in the other two corners. Oh, this side looks good. Whoops. Shiny paper. Glue doesn't like it. So I guess you could be very precise and get this to the size that you like if you just want to have a quarter of an inch out here or you could do it bigger um, this is just a, a kind of a test run here kind of put your nail there gets that little section covered okay I'm just eyeballing this I'm not get, I don't have any size no measurements So you could do these in a lot of different um, different applications, you know, on a journal card or whatever. If you just wanted to add some accent, maybe a different color or something like that, that would be cool. Or, you know, book pages. I might do this with um, some of those vintage book pages. Okay, and then one on this corner. So, Panda 
Panda and Poppies. That is, um, my grandson loves pandas. He's always been a collector of pandas. I was at a yard sale and I bought one of those blow up um, toys that blow up and you put it outside and it, you know, has air in it for Christmas. And it was a panda dressed in Christmas stuff. And I bought it for $10. It had a little pinhole in it, but he was just going to, um, God, I hate it when that glue won't stick. He was just going to patch it, you know, with a little bit of tape or something. To put, he just had bought a house. My my grandson's 27. He had bought a house, and um, so I got him that for his new house for Christmas. One of his. Um, okay, so those kind of just blend right in because if I had inked this first, it would have showed better. But that's just a good way to cover up all the nice, I mean, all the corners that might be messed up and I'm just using what scraps I have left I was gonna make this thing today so all right let me see if I can make another tag with this these up and get some use out of them. Okay, so there's a tag or a couple pockets or something. Whoops, I need this to glue it down. I'll just put a big X across it. I don't think it needs that much gluing. Okay, so they can use this side as a writing board or this side, whatever's most comfortable. I don't know what else I would put on it. Um, I guess, you know, you could put a tab or something on there, but Thing to decorate it. Hmm. Do I have a hmm. I don't want to yeah, I don't want to use the napkin. I don't see any little pieces left that are pre-cut. I mean, I have in my other little folder, probably. These are all still really good to use in journals. Mm -hmm. All right, maybe I'll come up with something to Put on there maybe just a label um, just take a quick look and see if there's something that would I don't 
don't want to put anything that um, well, a cute prayer pocket. I copied that from my other journal that I got. It says journal. Thing, I don't like it but I was thinking somebody could um, write whatever they want on there if they do you know that a lot of t people buy journals and they don't do anything except just put them to their collection add them to their collections hmm well I'm not really liking anything so unless I come up with something. Yeah, I'm not liking it. I did like this one, but I don't know. That's kind of throws off the Edith Holden, I think. Hmm. put a, any of those on there. I don't see anything that's... I mean, it would be silly to put another flower or something, right? Because it's already got its own flowers. So I'm just going to leave it like this because, like I said, it is a writing board and they can use either side. And, it, and the journal's sitting over there, so I can't show you. But I'm just going to set this inside, probably not inside the journal, probably outside, because I think it might be too big for the width of the journal, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay, I'm just checking this, because it doesn't seem to want to glue against that shiny paper. It just needs to be uh, pressed down good. All right, guys. Um, thanks for joining me for this little bit of time. And uh, thank you, Susan, for your suggestion to name the, the journal. That was kind of fun. Next time I'll know to take my name out. Um, I didn't think it would um, have my name. I guess it doesn't know who I am. Other than, you know, those were comments that were responses, not the actual comments. All right, we'll see you um, in the next video, um, probably Tuesday. I, I think I'm going to upload this and put it in today. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.